Hi everyone, today I will show you how to insert a paper cut image to a text. Okay, of course, you can also make your own paper cut, but now I will show you how to use the element of paper cut. Okay, first I will type a text. Let's see, uh, June maybe as the name of this month sorry June and then I will change to a bold font like Cocomat Pro Heavy you can use any uh, any text any font I mean but I love the bold text so okay so the art uh, the paper cut is more visible okay i will make it uh, left alignment and then i will uh, change it to white and then add a square change to yellow and place behind the text okay okay and then download it Okay, and then remove it all. Change page color to black or another color. Okay, and then remove the background. Use BG Remover to remove the white color. Okay, so now we have a text frame. Uh, fit it to page, but crop a little to avoid it become a background. And then go to element. I use here beach paper cut. Okay, you can find it on element, or you can use other element. I will use it here. And then crop it like this and then send it backward to hide it behind the ye yellow text frame okay and then I will use also a sky element like this the name is blue sky okay I will press it here and send it to back okay and then i will add a coconut tree coconut tree is this one but uh, uh, i will add page okay and then we have to make it a png so download it first transparent background and then and download okay go back to page one upload the coconut tree here and then reduce the size and then add shadow go to edit image and tap shadow uh, reduce the offset add the transparency okay enough and then apply 
okay and then crop it and then send it to back backward okay crop them and then this one I will add the cloud paper cut art element as here and then you can place it here send backward and duplicate it also as here and send backward okay and now I will uh, and the ruler here and then take, uh, select the yellow frame go to edit image and then take the shadow effect and then add glow okay I will add the transparency to 70 or maybe 80 okay and then the size I keep it 4 and then the color still black and then apply wait until it become a check mark okay change the page color to yellow the same as the frame and then crop this shadow crop it so it's uh, unvisible okay then I will remove the ruler then uh, download it download the page one of course and then I will use page two remove it and then page two upload the image we just download and then go to edit image and then uh, tap BG remover okay perfect then apply I will uh, make it a page one and then change the page color to white I will increase the size and then crop it I will place it here and then you can add an ornament here Okay, uh, I think the the basic uh, trick of this uh, text effect is done, and you can uh, really use add more element here. I will add uh, what is called cannot leave. Okay, I will press it here and then add, add the photo of coconut leaf with the photo with no background of course and then add this image and select the adjust and then add the blur okay I think it's uh, more interesting and so go duplicate it uh, place it on the top okay it uh, more like 
uh, and then add it also. Or no, 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 no. I, I want the coconut with uh, straw. Where is coconut? Nah, this, this one. I will add this one here. I will add it and I will add sand. Sand like this. Okay. Think it's perfect. Remember, uh, effect in Canva can be mean uh, about send it back using element uh, at the right uh, place. Okay, place. Okay. So this is uh, duplicate it. All right. Okay. And this one should be in front of another. Okay. I think it's enough and see you next tutorial.